With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, it's January 7th, but we haven't seen you since New Year's Eve, so we have to say Happy New Year, one and all. And partner, Happy New Year to you. This is it, the conclusion of the 2023 season. Hard to believe, but we got a good one here between division rivals. And you like what the NFL's done here, making Week 18 all-division games. I think it's one of the more inspired moves by the league because they've made these matchups really count. And typically, they mean something. Not a lot of coasting as people head towards the playoffs. But I do have to ask, January 7th, is it too late to say it? We're kind of right on the borderline, aren't we, about Happy New Year? Because that always seems to be the subject of debate. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is the 12th year pro seeking a return to Pro Bowl form, Russell Wilson. And bottom line, when you're the starting QB, what is it? Get the W. Get the W. They did that last week. Right, he got, the, got that done. Wasn't always pretty. There were some great moments. He threw four touchdown passes. But got to eliminate those mistakes. Got to take care of that because otherwise that could come back and bite him in another ball game. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, these two teams met in Pittsburgh earlier in the year with the Steelers prevailing in that one. So a win here in Baltimore would give them the season sweep. Here's one deep for Pickens. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Steelers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second down at six. So, CD, here we are. You look at how well this offense has played all year. 16-0. Now, in most years, they'd be at home right now enjoying time off for their perfect season, getting ready for the postseason. But this is the decade of the 2020, so that means 17 games are what's needed to get through a perfect season. Would a win here make them an all-timer for you? It would. It absolutely would. And I realize we're not comparing apples to apples because of the length of regular seasons. But if you think back to the 1972 Dolphins, they were 14-0 in the regular season. Three wins made them a Super Bowl champion, so they were 17-0 total. Imagine getting through 17 now, and then continuing on and winning the Super Bowl. They're an all-timer team already for me. Wilson will throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 14. the delay here's Harris and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line now a pause and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season well, I hope he's okay we'll step aside and be right back and the stop will come inside the five at the four how about this opening drive play number 12 now this is third down Wilson Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Quez Watkins, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Steelers are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. Wilson going to throw for it. That's caught, fights him off. And he will get in to make it 8-0. 
So what do you make of that? You go on the road, you score the opening drive touchdown, opt to go for two, and all of a sudden they're up eight zip. Yeah, this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now. They made this decision during the week. Hey, if we get the ball and score right away, let's show them that we feel like we're superior. Go for two and really put the pressure on them. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. The drive will start with an option going left. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Alex Highsmith there on the tackle. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and five. From the gun, a give to Mitchell. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Off the option, here's Henry. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Inside handoff, Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Jackson. That is caught by Likely. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 20-yard line. Play action. It's Jackson. And in for the Ravens' touchdown. Isaiah Likely. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have cut the lead back down to two. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And this is now a one-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me reflect back to preseason when you and I do our tours of camps. The prevailing message in each and every one of them was what? Win the division. Win the division. Win the division. You know you're in the playoffs. It means something. It might mean, it means a home game. It means a number of other things. But winning the division is paramount. You're right. They won't step off the gas here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44.
Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Play action. It's Wilson. He'll buy some time right to the right side and complete to Washington. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They go play action now. Wilson steps away. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Quez Watkins with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Steelers are able to stretch out their lead. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried. They just didn't get it done. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he is caught. He's got room at the 30. Still on his feet. And all the way touchdown Zay Flowers 46 yards and the Ravens have got it back to within a score Tucker with the extra point and the lead is down to two Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. A second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And that'll be incomplete with a penalty flag here on the field. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that thing go. Yeah, he broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs to have better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go, or throw it to a target and get that pass away. On first and ten, it's Wilson. That swung out wide to Harris. Second down at six now from the 42. Again, Wilson finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Wilson's throw brought in by Austin. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. 
Make it a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they can continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. A gain of three, second down. They'll run it again with Henry. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Now Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson able to find the open man. That's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. Touchdown! Isaiah Likely. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Ravens have come back to make it a two-point game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And this is now a one-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. Feels like he has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. Here's second and ten. Now it's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. A short one there to Fryermuth. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now a first down carry for Harris. midfield he goes into Raven territory from the 48 yard line here's second and six here's Wilson and his throw is going to be incomplete that ball was tipped in the air and while it ultimately fell incomplete it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it who's had quite a day he knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 38-yard line. Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. 
Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On fourth down, Fields. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Steelers try it, but they come up empty on fourth down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And now off to the races down the right side. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. From midfield now, here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Jackson now. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in-between range. And they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Henry. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Jackson on first down. A check down here for Henry. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete there to Bateman. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 12-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And he's brought down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Patrick Ricard as the first half is winding down. And the Ravens have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Tucker with the extra point, And that'll make this a six-point game. Fair catch called for and taken down near the five-yard line, and this will come out to the 25. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards.
On first and ten, here's Fields. And incomplete on the deep ball. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Throwing is Wilson. They'll roll him out right. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. A final shot before the break. Fields. And he's got Rome. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. Well, hey, we get it. No time to waste. Playoffs starting next week. We skip right over halftime and get back to the action. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On second down, here's Henry. Shoves him aside. Derrick Henry all alone. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. 84 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end Andrews. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, 54 yards. And the Ravens come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. Throwing now, Wilson on first down, eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now Wilson. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. And Audible here to get a new look. They snap it to Fields. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he is going to have the Steelers first down. It's a gain of 12 on fourth. Back to throw. Fields completes it to Austin. And this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Throwing again is Fields. Over the middle complete. It's Harris. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. On first down, it's Fields. Finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's Fields now on second down. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 17-yard line. Now it's Fields. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. This has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Here's Fields. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Watkins diving. He's got it. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Wilson. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Quez Watkins there to make the grab. And the Steelers are back within a score. Now Mike Tomlin says, let's go ahead and go for two. Wilson going to throw for it. And he's got it. They convert for two, and that gets him even closer. Now a two-point game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. After the interception, here's Wilson. And he fires one incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Wilson and the offense not coming off the field. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Forced out to his left. That's caught inside the 20. And he is going to have the Steelers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Wilson on second down. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now it's Wilson. 
Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And the Ravens are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. After the interception, here's Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Third quarter action here in this regular season finale. This will be second and ten. Off the option, here's Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, Jackson. And that went to the right side and incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Steelers are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. On second down, this is Harris. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here and we'll step aside. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run it. Warren, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as... Back now in Baltimore. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. So here's a first and ten at the 38. There's Wilson to throw. Here's one deep for Pickens. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw into the hands of Pickens. Now we'll pause for an injury here. That's George Pickens. The receiver who's in some discomfort. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 41-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Wilson on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That swung out wide to Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. To throw again is Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. To throw is Wilson. He's got Harris running the slant. 
And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. On second down, Wilson. And in for the Steelers touchdown. George Pickens with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Steelers drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. The Ravens heading out on offense as we look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And the division title, that's out of reach. We know that. This is as good a spot, Charles, as they're going to get. That first wild card and the number five overall seed. Ball is not out of the question, especially with the seven seeds that they have now in the playoffs. If you do win and the other wild card teams win in the first round, you could find yourself with a home game in the divisional round. Now, we know that's not likely, but it's not out of the question. Bottom line, you have to win to put yourself in that position. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Jackson. I can assure you setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Jackson from the shotgun. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers 35. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Jackson now. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Derrick Henry with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Ravens put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And quickly they get to the line. First down, and they go back to Harris. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run again with Harris. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. One play action, Fields. And he slings one that's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, Wilson. And he is caught. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. Wilson. He gets it complete to Harris. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. From the gun, it's Wilson. He finds Pickens over the middle. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. 
Again, Wilson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Just because you've got the lead in the fourth, it doesn't mean you have to play it safe. I like the aggressive play call there to push it downfield. That time, it didn't work out. Got an open man. It's Pickens. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. Third and two. Now Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Throwing is Wilson. Pickens on the slant. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. Second down, goal to go. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. And it's caught. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Here we go. The noise deafening. Fourth and goal. They run for it with Harris. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the result, instead of the chip shot to tie, they turn the ball over on downs. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here, and we'll step aside. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. So Russell Wilson in the offense, down by one, 26 seconds to go. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. Back to throw. Fields. That's going to be caught by Pickens. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. All eyes on Fields. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Wilson to throw. That's caught downfield by Pickens. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now Wilson. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Another try from the 14 on second and 10. Throwing now is Wilson. Rolling to his right. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. 
I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. So on now for the field goal try, Chris Boswell. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So add three, uh, all told, after the safety, it's a five-point swing. But that could have turned out much worse. Well, you don't want to say no harm, no foul, but I do believe you're right. A nine-point swing hurts. Five points, much more manageable, especially in a tight game like this. Now, we thought we might have a good close game, and we did. Really came down to that final onside kick. They recovered it, but they would have had to return it. They were unable to do that, and that wrote an ending. That is frustrating, isn't it? To execute an onside kick and get the ball, yet there's no payoff for them. Right now, they're probably in their locker room trying to comfort themselves with the clock just ran out on us. We were right there.